Hi everyone, and welcome back. Today, we're going to take a look at the basic meaning for the preposition down, and what it means when it's used with phrasal verbs. So, down is used with about 700 phrasal verbs, and has between 15 to 20 different meanings. And just like the preposition up, the preposition down can be represented as an arrow, like this. Now, this can represent either a location or a motion. As a location, it means low or low position. And as a motion, it means downward or downward direction. Now, of course these meanings may seem obvious to many of you, but it's important to have a clear picture of the basic meaning of a preposition before we can make sense of its extended meanings. So let's take a look at some phrasal verbs that use down in the sense of either downward direction or low position. How do you think we could describe this? Here, a soldier moves his body into a lower position. So we can say, the soldier gets down. Gets means move or become, and down means lower position. So the sentence can be understood as simply, the soldier moves into a lower position. All right, let's try another one. How do you think we could describe this using a phrasal verb with down, in which down means either downward direction or low position? Here, a man aims the point of his gun in a downward direction. So we can say, the man points his gun down. Points means aim, and down means downward direction. So the sentence just means, the man aims his gun in a downward direction. All right, let's try one more. How do you think we could describe this? Here, a worker passes a wrench to his partner who's in a lower position. So we can say, the worker hands down the wrench. Hands means give or pass, and down means lower position. So the sentence can be understood as simply, the worker passes the wrench to a lower position. Now, we can also interpret down as meaning downward direction in this sentence. So we can also interpret the sentence as meaning the worker passes the wrench in a downward direction. So I hope this helped you understand the basic meaning for the preposition down a little bit better, and we'll see you next time. Cheers.